Lesson 12家庭法 Part 2家庭法過去 Hello everyone. This is Katsutoshi Aihara speaking. Let's begin today's lesson. Today's lesson goals are Number 1. You will understand if sentence in possible reality. Number 2. You will be able to speak English sentences using if sentence in possible reality. And number three, you will be able to write sentences using if sentence in possible reality. Now, let's begin with the sentences here. Number three, if I were free, I could go with you. The reality behind this sentence is Because I'm not free, I can't go with you. This is 100% true. And the number three sentence, if sentence in possible reality, this is 0% true, or this is impossible. This sentence is used to talk about your imagination or your dream. In that sentence, the verbs are were, could go. In the if sentence, impossible reality, you have to use the past verb. When you use the be verb, after I, usually we say I was. But in the if sentence in possible reality, you always have to use were. So we can say I were, he were, she were, it were, always were. The next part is the past of helping verb plus the verb. The helping verbs are, for example, would, could, might and should. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look at the number four sentence. If I knew his phone number, I would call him. The reality behind this sentence is because I don't know his phone number, I won't call him. Again, the verbs used in number four sentence are knew and would call. Again, the verb is the past plus the past of the helping verb and the verb. Please look at the picture and the conversation. What can you fill in the blanks? A says, why don't our grandchildren visit us more often? And B says, they don't have enough time. The reality is that they don't have enough time. So the if sentence should begin with if they had more time. You have to use the past verb here. Then the second part, the reality is that their grandchildren don't visit them very often. So the if sentence can be something like they'd visit us more often. They'd visit. This means would visit, right? Okay, let's take a look at another example. Look at the picture and try to fill in the blanks. A says, why doesn't Sally get good grades? B says, she doesn't study enough. 
Now look at the picture. Uh, Sally is looking at her grades, 成績, and it shows F. F means failure in Japanese, 不合格 or 落第. So she needs to study more. Now, what can you fill in the blanks? The reality here is that Sari doesn't study enough. So the if sentence should begin with if she studied more. The next part is the reality is that Sari doesn't get good grades. So if sentence should begin uh, end with if she studied more, she would get better grades. Okay. What about another example? Look at the picture, read the conversation, and try to fill in the blanks. Here, the reality is that he isn't careful enough. So Mark isn't a good driver, right? The if sentence should begin with, if he were more careful, he would be a good driver. If he were more careful, he would be a good driver. Okay, after number three, please practice. And when you practice, I want you to be careful about these things. Number one, please try not to write in on your worksheet, but think by yourself and say it aloud and practice many times. Number two, please repeat practicing many times so that you can be fluent. And number three, only after you are fluent enough, please write in your worksheet at the end. I hope this will help you. Thank you very much for your attention. This is the end of today's lesson.